Thank you. Really appreciate being here. And I'm not used to holding a mic. This I feel like a lounge singer a little bit in uh, doing this, but I promise I won't sing. So, uh, pleasure to be with you today. Again, as mentioned, my name is Jared Sorensen. I, I work with 3M Health Information Systems in a few weeks to be renamed Solventum, so keep a lookout for that. But uh, I want to talk about creating time to care through, through innovation with ambient clinical documentation. And, and let's just describe this a little bit. Uh, this is a need of the hour. This is something that today uh, clinicians and patients have had uh, been separated somewhat by the technologies we use. And so our goal is to bring technology that can transform that relationship and in many ways restore that relationship of the patient-physician conversation. We want to be able to optimize technology, leverage the EHR capabilities, but also make it a little more user-friendly from a patient-physician experience. And, and we want to leverage all the technology that can make that possible. Uh, we really believe that this will enable a higher quality experience for both the physician and the patient. So for 3M Health Information Systems, we really have three primary goals uh, and, and problems that we're seeking to solve in healthcare. The first one is how do we create time to care for physicians? The second is how do we eliminate revenue cycle waste? And, and when I describe that, it's how do we take the documentation that physicians create and be able to meet all the needs downstream through the revenue cycle? And last, how do we drive value-based care? Uh, we know that, that healthcare is moving in a value-based direction. CMS here in the United States is obviously pushing in that direction. We want to be able to leverage our capabilities to, uh, to make that possible. But I'm, I'm really going to focus on this first piece. How do we create time to care for physicians? What we've brought to, to the market with our solutions is an incremental approach to technology. And foundationally, that begins with speech recognition. Uh, Front-end speech recognition based on immodal technology enables us to capture in real time uh, speech-to-text for physicians. But if speech-to-text was the only component we could do, that continues to be uh, advanced by real-time speech understanding. And not, not only that we capture what is said, but we understand what is being said. And when we understand what's being said, we can identify where there's gaps in documentation, where we're missing specificity or details about the patient, and we can proactively nudge the physician while they're documenting for what we call real-time computer-assisted physician documentation. On top of that, we add a virtual assistant capability. And so can we then speech enable the EHR for navigation, for commands, for other purposes, uh, and make that a hands-free experience for the physician? And then last, and this is really the crowning piece that has, has come to life in the last year, is how do we deliver an ambient clinical experience? How do we actually take the burden of creating documentation off of the physician's shoulders and generate that note from the patient-physician conversation? This is really the capstone of what we do with our technologies. But as we look at this, and, and we kind of chart it as a stair step, really this is a coordinated approach. And what we have to bring to the, the space is orchestration of these tools for the physician. It is a toolkit. Physicians will use this toolkit as they see fit. Uh, they won't always be with a patient while they're creating documentation. And so front end speech becomes critical in that. Uh, navigation with the EHR has to be done in concert with capturing that patient physician experience. And so using these tools as they see fit is, is critical. Now, we take a pretty wide angle lens at ambient documentation. Uh, if the only goal was to create a quick note, uh, I think we would be failing our, our healthcare system. The idea is that we can create a quality note that meets all the downstream needs of healthcare for care coordination, for quality measurement, and for payment. These are all the downstream needs that we have today. And so this experience that a physician has needs to tie in to the next step in the process. Today there are processes around clinical documentation improvement that capture completeness of the patient visit and are a real key to measuring quality. So we have to tie into that process and our solutions look at creating documentation that can also be utilized and, and reviewed with technology by CDI. Further downstream as that patient visit is completed, it's coded and it's turned into a bill. So we need to make sure that these processes, we don't squeeze one end of the balloon on speeding up documentation, but break the other end of the, the spectrum where we're seeking to automate coding. 
if we're going to get to autonomous coding, we need to make sure that we're thinking through the entire process. And finally, it's not just a goal of getting a claim out the door. We need to be able to connect into payer systems and so that that claim is satisfied and gets paid. And so we really look at this as links in the chain, connecting every dot through the process um, with quality documentation to quality payment and, and measurement. And so how do we accomplish this? Well, today at, at, at 3M and Modal, we have a, a large customer base. We have over 300,000 clinicians using our tools in hospitals across the country. Uh, we're certified with a wide range of EHRs to be able to use these tools. And what it creates for us is a minute by minute, hour by hour stream of medical information that we can truly understand what is being captured in speech and what is being captured in the, in the patient record and continue to improve these services day by day. So I'm here sharing all this at, at AWS. And so let me talk a little about our partnership with AWS. Really this process of ambient documentation is, is three, three phases. The first one is that patient-physician conversation. As described earlier, in this room, a physician may be using all the tools that we provide, a front-end speech. Uh, they may be getting nudged for additional documentation. They're using virtual assistants, but the actual conversation is the key, and we capture that on a mobile device or an in-room device if it's desktop. And once that, physician, or that conversation is captured, it flows into AWS HealthScribe. This is a generative AI service that summarizes a, a patient visit in a clinical note. We take that clinical note, we apply additional context that we have of the patient visit. This is where the integration of 3M into the EHR system uh, comes in. And then we apply any physician preferences and profiles on that note so that it is a personalized note from the physician. That generated note then is presented to the physician in the EHR where it can be finalized and signed. And so if you take all those steps in the process, we're, we're seeing not only greater satisfaction for physicians, but a, a lift on the burnout they feel and the burden from documentation. All this is captured for them, is presented as something that they can finalize and sign rather than have to create from scratch. So why partner with AWS? As you've seen in this last year, the introduction of generative AI, AI capability has accelerated tremendously. And it's not just the fact that the capability is there, but the services are there. The ability to now tap into a service with a very proactive and advanced company like AWS uh, is a great benefit to us. One, it helps reduce our development time and cost because we can leverage that capability. It also allows us to focus our time and scaling with third-party applications, primarily integrating with other EHR systems. AWS also has a common mindset with us of using AI responsibly. Uh, this is a hot topic in the world, not just here in healthcare, but anywhere. We, we talk about the purposes of AI, and we really see a like mind in what we're doing with AWS around responsible use of AI capability. And then finally, having the built-in privacy, security, and compliance of a HIPAA, or HIPAA eligible service that we use with, with AWS is fantastic for us to be able to leverage. And so in conclusion, our goal is that we can transform the experience of healthcare, we can improve that experience for patients and physicians, and restore what has been uh, sometimes interrupted by the technology that we bring forward. And so that really documentation becomes the byproduct of the experience. And with that, I thank you for, for listening. Thank you.